so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you my eighth stream of income um i'm not someone that believes in having one stream of income which is probably just having a day job no i'm not that kind of person i'm someone that wants to have like multiple stream of income take care take care take care and it will be complete okay if you just have like one stream of income which is a day job which some of us were not lucky to get so in case you don't know let me run you a little background i'm a geologist by trade I had practiced for a while, not, not not too long, just 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 a small while. And I got married, had kids, and couldn't just get any job that was worth my time. So most of the job were either underpaying or just not it for me. And I just felt like why waste my whole nine hours or eight hours going to sit in somebody's office? At the end of the day, you pay me maybe 30, 40,000 naira, 50,000 naira at most. Probably if you're paying too much, 100K, when I can just make that money in a week or thereabout. So why, why, why put myself in that kind of sticky situation? Why? Um, in Nigeria, the economy is not like really favorable to women. I will say that. I don't know if I am being truthful in this, but I think the economy is not favorable to women because you find out that you go to school with a man and you guys will come out, he will easily get a job than you. That is a woman. It might not really be a good job. It might not be but something that he can, you know, raise a family, raise his kids or whatever on. But you, you will find it difficult to get that same job i don't know if i'll say women are more laid back than men in nigeria but that's how it is that's how i've experienced it and sometimes for us that are married you know you're married and you know the, the organizations don't want to employ you because they feel you're going to go for maternity leave often especially if you are in a male dominated field like the one i studied they will think oh, you are a picking factory, so you'll be popping and you'll be taking maternity leave, so they won't want to give you a job. So most of us in Nigeria, most women in Nigeria create jobs for themselves. So I want to share with you some of the eight ways I make money. This is not to brag, but just to inspire you in case you're at that point where you're looking for how to make most more money. These jobs, I'm telling you, is not something that's going to, you know, blow, that, that makes me millions, but at least it makes me something to get by with. So if you're interested in learning the extreme of income that I have and how you can just, you know, make it yours too, let's get into the video. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you to all the 2,500 subscribers right now in my channel if they have not passed at this point. But by the time I was filming this video, they were 2,5. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. I appreciate you. Please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe. Please invite your family. Support me because I do great, great content in this channel. I do my life as a mom. I vlog. I show my city. I do hauls. Everything in between that will empower you, that will entertain you, that will educate you, I do on this channel. So you want to consider subscribing. Why not? I'm moreover. I'm a fine girl. I'm worthy of being your friend. Am I not? Check it. Check it out now let's be friends click on the subscribe button and invite your friends to subscribe thank you i've so, done so many business before now so many like if anyone knows me if you know me you know i'm, I'm a business tycoon i make money i hustle like a man i don't even know how a man hustles but i just hear that phrase all the time and i use it so i don't know but i hustle girl i hustle but for now i'm just going to share with you the eight ways i make money so one of them is looking for admissions for people and i didn't learn this thing from anywhere i didn't get any qualification from anywhere i just self taught myself how to look for cheap schools you know admissions for people help them process their visas and get paid that's my major source of income right now helping people search for schools for them if you want to go to school in canada in uk in us right now i can help you i've not done any other country apart from this three country canada us uk that's the three countries i have done and i also partner with companies that have ayata companies that have affiliates with these schools and you know take my course and still partner with them to help my student get the cheapest price 
possible so this is one of the way i make money so you can actually train yourself go to youtube do research find schools connect with them okay so my battery went off i had to go change it so um that is one of the way i make money just um finding schools uh, for people cheap schools affordable schools for you to attend and just guiding you through the process if you want to go to school abroad another way i make money is helping you book your flights processing your visa when we've gotten the school and then you want to apply for your visa or you want to book your flight i'll just help you do this process so as you can see this is already three sources of income in one helping you process your school helping you um, um, apply for your visa and also helping you book your flight if you want to travel i've just figured out ways to help people book their flight that is cheaper than the regular even if it's ten thousand naira cheaper but it's cheaper than the regular flight you book so that is why i also do this thing so as you can see these are three ways i make money in one <laughs> yes because if i'm charging you i won't charge you um all in one i have to charge you like one for each of these um services i render to you so these are the three ways um doing your vi do your admission doing your visa and also um book your flight and number four I, I can also help you book like tb test if you're having if you're going to like um the uk to go to school or you're going to canada and you need to do tb test i will help you book you know secure it for you in a way that is easy for you you don't have to go and struggle you don't have to you know i'll just do everything for you all you need to do is just go and sit down and do your test very very easy so this is the fourth way i make money of course it doesn't come cheap you gotta pay for my services so this is the fourth way i make money and these are the highest way i make money and it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that a lot of money comes from me like million million but at least is enough to get me by so this is the four way i make money but i also i just consider it two i consider it two or three in one way i make money number two way i make money is i am a farmer yes right now my farm is on the lockdown due to the covid but i'm a farmer i raise beds for consumption and you know for supply so better am i saying like raising um chicken but broiler chickens layer chickens yes i am a farmer this is how i make money i raise best broilers and i supply to companies or i supply to individuals or to people that are selling we make different um species we make uh, lame beds and broilers for meat in my farm so due to the covid we shut down a bit and we're looking to see if everything will just normalize before we start again but just be aware that i farm so if you want to buy beds in large quantity i don't sell one one i say in large quantities you want to buy like 10 at once 20 at once then you can contact me no i am your plug in port harcourt nigeria yes so i sell bed so that is my second highest way i make money so this bed is two in one so the, the layers they produce eggs that i sell and also the beds i sell as me so it's two in one way i make money and the feed also i sell so i buy the feeds to feed my chickens and then i sell to people that want to buy so yeah girl it's just diversifying diversifying making income <laughs> but it's not a lot of money it's just small small money put together and life keeps on going so this is will i say my third way or my second way of making money this is how i make money and one thing about poultry is everything is sellable when you're in poultry business the the excreta the waste the the skin the bear skin because like when we have some companies that want us to de de feather the bears we also sell the feathers to people that are using it either for money or whatever they are using it and the excreta that the bears release we also sell so everything when it comes to poultry is sell a bow okay okay so if you want to start it it's very easy all this business i'm telling you i did not go to any school i think for the poultry i went for a, a one week training or so and that was it 
but everything they taught us in that poetry training i am very very sure you can find on youtube so there's no need to waste your money and go and be learning poetry training just go to youtube google different different things that you need to know and you just know what you want to ask and then you see the things will be coming up and you learn or uh, if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i'll be in the comment section responding to you guys yes so that is the second or the third the fourth way i make money the third way okay yeah so the next way i make money is i sell fashion accessories yes i sell a lot of fashion stuff let me show you one of the things i have now that i'm selling yeah it's shoes yeah so as you can see these shoes yep i don't know if it's focusing yeah so these shoes are all up for sale yes as you can see yep it's focusing right mm -hmm. so these shoes are all up for sale so i sell fashion stuff i sell from hair to clothes to shoes earrings bags you name it yeah this used to be my major source of income but due to certain life issues i had to restrict retreats and now i just do it in small bits and pieces i just order for people that are like my major customers i do not buy in bulk the way i used to buy before anymore before i used to go to like dubai turkey us just to get this stuff back to portaco to be able to sell but now i don't do that anymore i just buy like bits and pieces like this one is red bottoms in case you want to buy these shoes they are up for sale just contact me on instagram i think this one is um 18 000 naira. no this one has a bag so this one with the bag is 25k i don't know if it's focusing shoe and the bag is 25k and this one is 15k for just the shoe it doesn't have a bag as you can see yes as you can see so yeah so so yeah if you want any of these shoes just inbox me um on instagram and i will get it delivered to you wherever you are in port harcourt yes yeah, so i sell fashion stuff shoes bags clothes hairs whatever i sell them as long as it's going to beautify you i sell them from your head to toe i sell everything i have them in my house that i sell and i also order so although now my card is having a lot of trouble if not i do like um, personal shopping so if you need stuff you want them abroad you just let me know and i'll get it for you but right now i'm having problems with my card which i'm trying to sort out so that is number three way i make money right, number three so number four way i make money is logistics so i have bikes that help me deliver stuff within portal court so if you want to deliver stuff within portal court hola at your girl yeah hola at your girl so i will help you take this stuff wherever you want to do you want to take it so all you have to do is pay me yes that is how i also make money these are all the ways I make money for myself as a stay at home mom. Yes, I consider myself a stay at home mom. Although somebody will say, Yeah, not a regular stay at home mom. Yes, I consider myself a stay at home mom because I feel if you don't have a nine to five job, you're a stay at home mom, which most people believe in Nigeria that once you don't have a nine to five, you're a stay at home mom. So I am proud to call myself a stay at home mom because it will help me relieve responsibilities. Some of the things, you know. You're supposed to pay for you're supposed to buy for extended families for friends but because you're a stay at home mom they will just you know subtle on the pedal so <laughs> who work help i'm a stay at home mom no problem yeah so that is another way i make money yes another way i make money is helping people share food so if you have like you want to buy cow i can bring people together buy a full cow share it among them and put my profit on them which is not a lot this is like the most tiniest way i make money it's not a lot of money but it's just an additional income for me that's it so it's not a lot of way to make money yes that is how i make money i think those are all the ways i make money yeah 
So those are all the ways I make money. And the last one, ah, why am I forgetting YouTube? No, I can't forget YouTube, which is the newest baby in the block. YouTube is the newest baby in the block. Yes, I make money from YouTube also. How do I make money from YouTube? Just, you know, doing content like this you're seeing. If you watch it, watch my ad, interact with the ad, you know, click on the link that they told you to click on the ad. Fura is going to get small coin and then they will send it to my account and that is the way I make money. In case you have not watched how much I've made so far video, I'm going to be linking it up in the card and I'm also going to leave it in the description box. I know every time I start leave in the description box, I never leave. And you people will come to the comment section and say, Fura, where is the video you said you leave in the description box? You have not left it, but I'm changing. I am changing. I'll begin to leave those stuff in the description box. Please bear with me. Sometimes when I just finish doing these videos, I'm brushing out. So that's why I do not leave them in the description box. But from this video, henceforth, I'll be leaving in the description box. So that you see, okay? You'll see that. Yeah, girl, I'm making small, small money. So all you need to do is stay at your home, film content with your phone, film with your, you know, with your phone. Right now, I'm using camera, but you mustn't have a camera. You can start with your phone, you know, edit and just post it on YouTube. And then when you get to the time where you get monetized, you get monetized like, if you watch another video i'm going to be leaving up here and also in the description box on how you can get your 4000 watch hour and your 1000 subscribers i did that video yes i got you i got you like that i want you to be empowered i want you to make more like look not to be wearing ring in your hand i'll be moving up my life she should not do your pocket and people will be taking you for poor. It's everywhere. We know it. It's everywhere. Okay. So I want you to make some money. I got you. That's why I'm doing all these videos. It's not to show up for. It's not like I'm a big girl. I'm loyal. But I want you to make some money. Yeah. So these are the ways I make money. By the way, and most of this business I started, apart from my poetry and my beauty business, I think most of them I started with zero capital zero capital probably the only money i spent was just money to buy my data to be able to train myself but apart from the money i used for data there was nothing i spent the first person i got admission for was the one that paid me i didn't invest nothing i didn't invest any money only the money for the data so you too can do it why are you not hustling why are you not you know making money why are you so broke you don't have to be broke even if it's money to make your hair like you don't even need too much to survive in this country called nigeria you don't need too much as a woman especially if you have a mind that is supportive you know you don't need too much all you need is the basics money to provide you know some good looks some food some children fees which should be majority the husband's um, responsibility if you're from nigeria because you know we are blessed in nigeria you will not understand we are so so blessed as a wife in nigeria you don't need to um hustle for rent most wife most wife let me not say wife in nigeria most wife not all the wife but most of the wife in nigeria you don't need to hustle for rent you don't need to hustle for school fees these our proud husbands will be paying the bill and all you need to do is save your money buy the latest hair buy the latest whatever you want to buy and save your money ah oh. please anybody that told me that nigerian husband should not be proud because be proud okay be proud and be doing your responsibilities we are proud they pay me now when you need to do your responsibilities my money will come the waste mm -mm. That one, the pain on our, on our Bobby. The pain is paining me. It will pay me. But if you are doing your responsibilities and I don't have to worry about those things, let your proud be in your shoulder, please. Just be proud. Because in case you don't know, you are watching this video, you're not a Nigerian, you understand? You're not a Nigerian, you're like, what's she talking about? Nigerian husbands are very, very proud. Like the most proud people ever. So if you are if you are getting married to a Nigerian husband, just know you are marrying one proud man that he should apart is like this. That you have to be under as a woman, you have to be lawyer, you have to worship his ego, you have to massage his ego. These things people don't like to talk about it, but these things are things we live with every day. So for people like me, we have accepted it and we have decided to move on. Why be struggling with these things when society, this one's self, I don't agree to tear shit. We have accepted it and we have 
moved on as long as it's paying me it's favoring me i mind the business that pays me uncle keep paying school fees keep buying rent bring money for food bring money for that money for this okay and i'll be fine as long as i'm not wasting my money my money is in my account is your little wash yes i do the cleaning yes i do the cookie yes i do the i do the i do the <laughs> Thank you so much for watching the video. I know I stay rumbling away from this video, but thank you so much for watching this video. I did this video for you so you can get inspired. If you want me to do some more videos like this, you know, just give you business ideas that is not related to what I do. Let me know in the comment section until I see you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to leave your comment in the comment section, even if it's just a hi. I will be fine. I love you so much. Bye-bye.